Five in matchup is against the 8 and 15 Salisaw Lady Black Diamonds and your Lady Panthers coming in at 17 and 6. The Lady Black Diamonds is coming off a loss to Stillwell. Uh, they fell short 57 21. And the Lady Panthers coming off a disappointing loss to Poto 48 46. A game I know that they wish they could have back. Uh, you know, fell a little short. Missed a few free throws there, and as a result, they fell a little short to, to Poto, uh, but that's in the rearview mirror. And we're looking forward here, and the road to the area tournament starts right here. The Lady Panthers win this ball game, and they will advance to play either Wagner or Bristow. That'll be at Bristow, so we want to get the cart before the horse here. we got to get this one taken care of against a good Salisaw Lady Black Diamond. They've met a couple times uh, throughout the season. Lady Panthers can't, won both games. Um, it was supposed to be a third game, but due to inclement weather, that game never was played. But the Lady Panthers come in 2-0. Uh, both very competitive matches, so we know Salisaw will be ready uh, to play. And winner moves on. Loser, their season comes to a close. We want to say a special thank you to First National Bank of Stigler and Farmer State Bank for your support of Panther Vision. Yanni Howard will be jumping for the Lady Panthers. And while we speak of Howard, let's, and let's just uh, give her congratulations. This past week, she was offered by Southwest Community College, her first scholarship offer. And so uh, hats off to all of her hard work and uh, Howard for getting that scholarship offer. So here's the tip, Howard ready to jump. There it is, and tips to Jones. You're starting 5-4, the Lady Panthers. Johnson, Jones, Lovett, Howard, and Powell. Jones, a little head fake, heads to the basket, up and under, shot off the backboard, up, no good. Howard with the rebound, shot up, no good as well. And Lady Panthers come up empty-handed as Salisaw looks to get on the board early in the ball game. Lady Panthers come out pressing the ball. Johnson immediately scrambles to the ball there, looking to try to knock it away. And uh, Salisaw gets it to the outside, shot up, no good. And Powell comes down with the rebound, and Johnson looks to push it. He's got Jones over in the corner. Now Jones is going to dribble and spin, try to get to the basket there. Doesn't have anything, so she's going to set it back up top to Howard. Howard now to love it and love it, calling the play. Powell's going to go to the corner. Johnson tries to immediately cut off by a double team there. She tries to. And let's see, I want to say there's a foul there on Salisaw. It's on the floor, so Lady Panthers will take it out from under the basket. Johnson tries to get in, gets it into Jones. Now Jones is going to kind of just survey the court and get it to love it. They want to get it down in the paint there. Howard's calling for it. And now she gets it, looks to go to work. Up and under, don't have a shot. Ball knocked away, and Salisaw comes down with it, and Jones is going to pick up her first personal team, his first team foul as well. So first minute plus here, both teams kind of shaky. I imagine a little bit, I don't know, a little nervous. I don't know what it may be, but they immediately come in with a, a press here, and Lady Black Diamonds gets it across. Fairly easy there. Jones defending the ball. There goes the pass over to the side. Not there. He's going to skip it across court. Good defense there by Lovett and Howard. The ball's knocked out of bounds. They're going to say it's off of Johnson. Coach Hollinshed wanted it off Salisaw, but they're going to say it stays down to this side of the court. Lady Black Diamonds come in 8 and 15. Lady Panthers 17 and 6. Shot up, no good. Good defense there by Howard, and Jones comes down with it. Jones gets it to Howard. Howard now looks to split the defense. It gets, they're going to get Howard for a travel. Good defense there by the Lady Black Diamonds, forcing the turnover.
Good defense. Southall was able to get it over the fingertips of Powell, and there goes a shot up no good, and Jones now looks to push it. Got Johnson over the far corner there. Still scoreless, th almost three minutes into the ball game. Neither team, both teams had good looks at it. And there goes Powell, shot up off the backboard, and good. And just like that, Stigler's on the board and up two to nothing. Just had to knock the top off that basket. Now the Lady Panthers ready to go. Slowing down the offense of Salisaw. There goes a shot in the corner. Pump fake going to skip it to the top of the key. That's an open shot up and good. So Johnson cuts to the basket. Going to draw the foul. And I want to say Jordan's going to go the line for two. We're going to wait and see. Yeah, Johnson. Johnson's going to shoot two here. First shot up, no good. Lady Panthers just have struggled the last two ball games from the charity strike. You want if you want, if your coach Holland said here, you're like, man, we we got to start making them. And so Johnson shot up off the back of the iron, no good. So 0 for two there, and Salisaw with a one point lead looks to push it down the court, and Powell's going to draw the foul, and the Lady Black Diamonds is going to go the line to shoot two. Shot up, rolls around, no good. Second shot up, and good. So one of two from the, the stripe there. Lady, pa uh, Actually, Lady Black Diamond's up four to two. Johnson calls the play. A motion there by Jones to come get the ball. Now she looks to Powell behind the three-point line. Shot is up, high arcing shot off the backboard. Cha-ching! The bank is open, folks, and Gentry Powell has five points, and the Lady Panthers back on top, five to four. Look at that. The bank is open. She called it, too. I heard it all the way up here. Howard now steps in front of the ball, steals and gets it forward to Johnson. Johnson looking at five on one, so she's wisely going to pull it back. And she's going to draw the foul. It's going to be on the floor. Johnson inbounds it. Powell cuts to the basket. There goes Jones, shot up off the backboard and good. And Maddie Jones with her first bucket of the ball game. And Salisaw says, I've seen enough. I want to call a timeout. So we're going to go silent for a moment. Lady Panthers up 7-4 with 4-12 in the first quarter. So after the Lady Black Diamond timeout, they set the inbound the ball, gets it past the Lovett there. Immediately goes to work here. Johnson does a great job on defense there. Looking to try to get it inside. Ball kind of battered around into the hands of Lovett there. So back-to-back -back turnovers by Salisaw, and both times have led to points for the Lady Panthers. And Johnson now looks. There's Lovett. Thinks about shooting it. Going to kick it over across court. There's Powell. Powell makes a little head fake there. Ball knocked away. Now gets it to Jones. Jones looks. And Salisaw does a good job covering Howard up there and able to get the ball in. And so now Lovett looks over to Coach and says, what well, we want to run. And he looks to, looks to him with the play. Now 
Powell had a hole there, pulls it back. Got Jones over in the side, gets the ball, immediately goes to work. A little floater up off the iron and good. Now Matty Jones with back-to-back -back buckets. That's four points, 9-4 lead now for Stigler with 3.13 left in the first quarter. Skip pass across court and off the fingertips of Salasaw. So that's three possessions here for the Lady Black Diamonds that results in forced turnovers and that defense just kind of pressing them a little bit and ultimately forcing some, some turnovers that they're going to have to work on if they want to stay in the ball game. Jones now has the ball. Goes right back to work, skips it over to Powell. Powell thinks about shooting it, but kicks it back to Jones. Johnson immediately goes into Howard. Howard looks, tries to split the defense, spin move off the backboard, shot up and could. And Howard has her first bucket of the ball game. And Lady Panthers have scored eight in a row. Ball knocked away and out of bounds off Powell. Oh, they're going to, okay, they're going to say it's off Salasol. We'll take that one. So Johnson's going to inbound the ball. Ball looked like it may have went off the hands of Powell, but the referee was closer than I was and says it was out of Salasol. Howard goes to work, shot off the backboard, spins. It has a little smanglish on it, goes in, shot up and good. Look at that replay brought to you. Look at this move by Howard, a little head fake. Gets past the defender and spins it off the backboard and shot up and good. And Howard now has a chance for a three-point play. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, man, for this regional broadcast. Winner moves on, loser goes to the house. There's Howard shot up off the backboard and good. Largest lead of the ball game for Stigler at 10, 14 to 4 with 2.23 left. Salasol has 14 fouls, so the next one is going to result in two free throws for the Lady Panthers. Sigler only has two. Good defense there by Johnson. Skips it over. And Lovett immediately re recovers. There's a three-point shot is up. Off the front of the iron, no good. And Johnson comes down with the board. And she immediately looks to try to push it down the court. Crossover move, spin back. And they're going to get a foul. Oh. Let's see who they got there. I think they're going to get Jordan for the offensive foul. And Coach Holland said did not like that call. We got a replay of it, Vales? Or you? Uh, he, he didn't catch it, folks. We apologize. He was too busy worried about what was going on everywhere else. But his job. I know you did. Regardless, that's going to be Johnson's first. Yeah. Salasaw does a good job avoiding the turnover here and spreading the court. Good ball movement. Trying to go inside and met with like a triple team. But that's going to result in an open three. Shot up, no good. Johnson comes down with the board. She's got Jones. And Jones up, shot up the backboard. <laughs> good. And Maddie's come to play at six points. And a 16-4 lead for your Lady Panthers. Good vision there by Johnson. Finding Jones floating down the court for an easy Easy transitional layup. That was, that's an open three shot up. No good. And Salasaw just can't quite get him to fall. And had a good look there. Ashton Holly's now checked in for the Lady Panther. There's Jones. She thinks about it and gets it back to Holly. Holly loses the ball, knocked out of bounds. Going to stay with Stigler. Jones is going to get a breather. So the 5-4 Stigler out on the court. Howard, Lovett, Holly, Johnson, and Powell. Goes into Howard. Howard goes to work, kicks it over there to Lovett. Lovett now to Powell. Powell goes to the basket, looks for a foul, no call. Now Coach Holland said eyeballs about popped out of his head because he wanted a foul there, but there was no call. And now Salasaw is on the move. Good pass inside. Howard does a good job recovering there. Shot up, no good. Battle for the board. And looks like Howard's going to draw the foul, and that should be the 15th foul. And if so, she's going to head to the other side of the court and get a couple free throws. She's one for one early in the ball game, five points in the, in the first seven and a half minutes. 
Hiani's done. I don't want to jinx her, but done a good job not fouling, playing good defense. Howard has great vision. And really, really, you know, for her height, uh, has really good speed. There's that first shot up off the front iron, no good. As I was saying, though, Howard has good speed and able to, it's a little bit deceptive in that first move, and she's beat some Lady Black Diamonds to the basket a few times today because of that. Here's the shot up, it hits no good. So 0 for 2 for Howard. There's the pass over to the corner, open three-point shot. At some point, they're going to hit them, and there it is. Lead back to single digits now with 10 seconds. Johnson looks to push it. She's going to cut across the defenders there. <laughs> About knocks Howard out. And that's going to be the end. Nobody saw the clock. I don't know what we were doing. But regardless, we head to the second. Lady Panthers 16, the Lady Black Diamond 7. We're going to go silent for a moment, and we'll be back. Right, second quarter underway, Salisaw ball trailing by nine. Still a lot of ball to be played here. And Sal Salisaw, had <laughs> Salisaw had some open looks, just couldn't get them to fall there in that first quarter. But I believe at some point they're going to start sinking some shots. There's a three-point shot up, no good. Back, and it looks like they're going to say it went off the fingertips of Powell. It's going to stay with the Lady Black Diamonds. I want to give a shout-out today for, to uh, First National Bank of Stigler, First Farmer State Bank uh, for their support of Panther Vision. Good entry pass there, but even better defense there by Jones denying the entry. So Salisaw is going to kind of spread the court here and try to find the open look. They've had plenty of them, as I said a moment ago, just not able to get on the sink. that open shot there, shot is up and good. Defense not able to recover quick enough over there to get in front of that shooter. Salisaw took advantage. There goes Howard, gets it over to Powell. Powell shoots a three of her own, shot up, no good. Battle for the board. And the Lady Black, Black Diamonds come down with it and immediately start pushing down the floor, trying to catch Stigler off guard. Really off balance there, but now they slow and get it back to the top of the key. Jones does a good job on defense, and another open three, just not able to get it to fall. But gets a second chance and another three, and that shot's going to be a little, a little bit too much. So it goes out of bounds, Stigler ball, and there's some substitution going on for Salisaw. You're starting five on the court right now for, for Stigler. We're talking about first quarter scoring. Maddie Jones had six. Keani Howard had five. And Gentry Powell had five. Good swing there. Gets it into Howard. Good movement. Shot up off the backboard and good. And I'll tell you what, that's seven points for Hiani. And uh, she's had some good looks and made some tough shots and earned every one of those points that she has. Now lead back to eight, 18 to 10. Johnson does a good job on defense, getting hands in her face. Swing pass back, open shot, up and no good. Another good look for Salisaw, just shot didn't fall. Just got to keep shooting it if you're 
happier the Lady Black Diamonds because they're getting open looks and they're going to eventually just going to start falling. Oh, Lovett gets it to Jones. Jones now looks and sees what she wants to do. Johnson cuts to the basket. Trying to get it into Howard. Howard's calling for it, but Jones sees the double team coming and elects to reset to Powell. Powell now to Johnson. Good cross over there by Johnson. Gets it over to Powell, back to Johnson. And finally gets it into Howard. Jones just going to take her time with the play develop. He gets it now to love it. Goes Jones in the corner, thinks about shooting it, does a little head fake, spin move. Goes to work, tries to draw the foul, no call. And Salasaw's on the move, trailing by eight. That'll shoot it right there. She'll hit it too. Not this time. The ball goes out of bounds and going to be Stigler ball with 425 left in the half. There's a timeout on the court, and uh, we're going to go silent for a moment. We'll be back with 425 left in the half. Over, Stigler ball. Johnson dribbles across, across midcourt. Trying to go to work to Howard. Howard is going to dribble back out here. Jones does a little spin move, kicks it back to Powell. Powell shot up. No good. And Salasaw comes down with the rebound. There's a three-point shot up and no good, but a long rebound. And comes right back to Salasaw. They get another shot at it. No good. And it's Third shot up, no good. And finally, Howard said, listen, I'll take it into my own hands. Give me the board. Let's go to work. And Johnson now pushes, has Lovett over in the corner, corner, and she gets it to Johnson. Johnson head fake shot up, a little floater up and good. And Johnson gets her first points of the ball game, and it extends that Stigler lead back to double digits at 10. Jones, good defense, right in the hand of Johnson. Johnson looks to try to catch Salasaw off balance, shot up no good, tried to go left-handed and just couldn't get it to fall. And Powell's going to pick up a foul, and if it's on her, that's going to be her second. That's a first-team foul. A shout out real quick if we can to the Stillwell administration here for their accommodation and some good food folks I'm just telling you right now they they should have never told Panther Vision shot up no good they should have never told Panther Vision that there was a green room because we went up there and ate everything I mean quesadillas we ate to tamales what else we eat Vales we tried to shut it down but it was good <laughs> Jones deep three shot up good 
Maddie Jones gets her first bucket of the second quarter, nine in the game. And the Lady Panthers have their largest lead at 13. But it was good food. And we want to say thanks to all of the Steelwell uh, and their accommodations and helping us out and be able to bring this broadcast to you guys. There's a deep three shot up off the front of the iron, no good. And I tell you, I've said it a few times in the broadcast, Salisaw's had their open looks and they've made a few, but they've struggled uh, to make that shot. Powell goes to work, a little floater shot up, no good. And Gentry's gonna go line to shoot two. So there's going to be a timeout before Gentry's going to go to the line. Stigler, 23-10, minute 22 left in the half. We're going to go silent for a moment, and we'll be right back. Here we go, Powell goes the line, she's gonna shoot two. Shot up no good, actually she's over two to the line and Lady Panthers, man, still continue to struggle from the free throw line. They're one for seven today. Three-point shot, Johnson on defense, shot off the backboard, no good. Jones comes down with the board, 56 seconds left in the, the half. Jones has nine points in the ball game. There's Johnson, the open three shot up off the backboard, no good, battle for the board. Howard got a finger on it, but just not able to come down with it. And so now, Salasaw with a three, shot up, no good. Johnson comes down with the board, finds Howard. Oh, that was just good defense there by Salisaw. Howard wasn't ready for that defender. And Lady Black Diamonds did a great job getting in the right position. I mean, I thought we were playing softball there for a second. Johnson chunked that chunk. Howard, Howard made the catch. Goes inside, a little, ooh, that was good defense there by Lovett. They're gonna say she reached though. And so Caitlin, we'll show you a replay. We'll let you guys come up with your own conclusion. They got her for a foul there. It's gonna be her first. And the Lady Black Diamonds will go to the line to shoot two. First shot up and good. Second shot up and good. Salisaw's done a good job from the line so far tonight. Johnson now tries to get it across midcourt and does fairly easy. The shot up, no good. Battle for it. And somehow Salisaw battles and comes down with it, and they're going to get Gentry for a, a cheap foul there. It's going to be her third. Man. So Gentry's going to go to the bench there with those three fouls, 3.9 seconds. So Salisaw has a chance here to get it at single digits. But they're going to have to do it quick. And there's a deep three shot up. No good. So we head to the break. Lady Panthers 23, Lady Black Diamonds 12. We're going to go silent, folks. We appreciate you tuning in to the broadcast. And we'll be back, I don't know, man, in about 10 minutes with the Lady Panthers on top.
All right, folks, second half underway. It's going to be Lady Panthers ball. Both teams went to the locker room, discussed the mid-game adjustments here, and you or Coach Holland said, you said, I mean, just keep doing what you're doing. You got to talk about making those free throws and also a second and third chance opportunities that Salisaw was given. Uh, fortunately for Stigler, they weren't able to capitalize. Johnson, three-point shot up, no good. But you definitely don't want to give any team two and three opportunities. And Salisaw was fortunate to have those opportunities. There's a good pass out. Kicks it back, deep three shot up, no good. There goes another, that second chance opportunity there. And let's see if Salisaw can take advantage of it. Good move there, up and in. So lead back to the single digits at nine. Love it looks, try to get it over to Johnson. Johnson now to Jones. Jones kind of surveys the court there. Doesn't like what she sees, so she's going to get it back to Johnson. He gets it over to Powell. Good good kick out there to Johnson. Shot up no good. And now the Lady Panther. Oh, I thought it was football season there. <laughs> well, I thought we were back in football there. Near tackle right past the three-point line. It's going to result in a foul on the floor. Look at this. Kind of look like the Salisaw linebacker right here. Boom. You ain't getting the touchdown. <laughs> So it's going to be the first team foul, second personal there for number 11 for the Black Diamonds. Love it gets into Howard. Howard now looks back and gets it to Johnson. Southall comes out playing some tight defense here, and the Lady Panthers kind of struggling to find a, an open lane. Jones gets to the free throw line, kicks it back to Johnson. Back to Johnson. Johnson to shoot a three. Shot up and good. And Johnson, five points in the ball game. Speaking of scoring, that first half scoring, Maddie Jones had nine. Howard had seven. Powell, five. And Johnson, two. And that's going to be a jump ball. Coach Holland said was hollering for a travel, but possession arrow points to Salisaw. Good defense there by Caitlin Lovett, the junior. So if you're just joining the broadcast, winner of the ball game will move on. They will play either Bristow or Wagner, I believe, if I remember correctly. The loser, unfortunately, has to go to the house. Well, they don't have to go to the house, but they'll be watching from the sidelines or from the house. If you're Lady Panther fans, you want to be playing, and so we know these young ladies do. There's a good kick out, three-point shot up. No good, though. And Howard comes to now. Johnson looks to push it down the floor and kind of loses control. Look at Jones going to the basket off the backboard, not able to get it to fall. And it did go off the fingertips there of Jones and Salisaw ball. Oh, yeah. They got a left hook there by the Black Diamonds. Salisaw breaks that trap fairly easily, spreads the court. I want to say thanks to First National Bank and Farmer State Bank for their sponsoring of Panther Vision. There's a deep three shot off the back of the iron, battle for the board. And Howard's done an extremely good job here in the second half so far, blocking out and getting those rebounds. And I think we're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow points to Stigler. I, I didn't really know what he was going to call there, but possession arrow goes to the Lady Panthers. Johnson set the inbound. Howard goes to work, tries to draw the foul, no call. Johnson gets the rebound out to love it. The Panthers had a couple of good looks there, just elected to reset the play. And that's going to be. 
That, that score of 261-14 is inaccurate. It's actually 26-14. Timeout, Salasaw. Lady Panthers with 437 left in the quarter, up 26-14. All right, so after the Salisaw timeout, uh, we'll just talk about the second half scoring here. Um, really not a lot to talk about. Jordan Johnson, the lone three-point shot. Um, so not a lot of scoring so far for Stigler in the second half. They still are up by 12. Um, done a much better job so far. Still early in the second half, but have done a great job uh, not giving up second-chance points and the opportunities to uh, Salisaw. And uh, after the jump ball, they look to inbound it here. And it's going to be another foul there, third team foul. Game getting, game getting a little bit physical. Ball knocked out of bounds. So Lovett set the inbound. Johnson trying to get through the screen there. Does so. Now has Howard at the top of the key. Howard, little head fake there, looking for a screen from Johnson, not able to get it. So now she sets it back to Jones at the top. Jones goes right to work, kicks it out to Powell. Powell goes, a little floater up off the backboard, no good. Battle for the board, and Salasaw comes down with it. And Gentry is going to pick up a foul, and unfortunately that's going to be her fourth. So Gentry's going to have to go to the to the bench there. Four fouls with a lot of ball left. We're going to need her down the stretch. So Ashton Holly checks in for the Lady Panthers. Good head fake there. Shot up, no good though. And Lovett comes down and gets it to Jones. It's going to be a foul. It's 14 foul. It's going to be on the floor. So the next team foul, Lady Panthers will be shooting two. Low scoring third quarter here for both teams. The game definitely is picking up a lot more physicality. And good block there by Salasaw. Holly had very a very brief moment of an open shot there. Salasaw did a great job of recovering and blocking it out of bounds. And so Johnson now set to inbound the ball. Ball inbounds to Jones. Trying to get it in there to Howard. Just a little bit too much mustard on it. And it's going to result in a turnover. So 319 left in the third quarter. Lady Panthers still on top. Extending that defense full court. Salasaw does a good job getting past that pressure. And Jones battles, I think. Oh, they're going to say he went off of Jones, but it's going to stay with still, or actually with Salisaw. And it's going to 
be a little cheap foul called, whistled there. And we'll see, I think it was on, on Lovett. No, actually, going to going to get Jones for it for a hold. That's her second. That's second team foul, so Southall's going to make a substitution here real quick and will inbound the ball under the basket. Stigler scored three so far uh, in this this uh, quarter. Southall scored four, I believe. Yeah, four. So not a whole lot of scoring in about five minutes. There's a good inbound pass, and Southall just could not. Let's see, I want to look for the call here. I guess they said Stigler knocked it out. There's good defense. And Jones temporarily comes down with it. Ball knocked back away. That's a deep three, though. Shot up, no good. Holly just Rebounds the ball and kind of caught off guard as the Salisaw defender comes around and snatches it out and goes up and now has a chance at a couple of free throws. And Holly's going to pick up the foul. That's her first third-team foul. Ooh, a little shooter's touch there. Second shot up and good. And so now Salisaw is going to extend their defense. Ball into Johnson. Johnson spin move gets past that defense. Try. And Stigler fans are wanting the foul, uh, but there's no call. We'll let you look at it here and see what you think. Um, there was definitely some contact there, but no call. It's going to be Salisaw ball as it was a jump ball. Possession appointed to the Lady Black Diamonds. Back to back jump ball. Possession error points to Stigler. Johnson gets past that defense there. A good spin move. Tries to get it into Howard, and that's going to be another jump ball. So back to back to back. Jump balls and possession arrow points to Salisaw. I want to give a shout out to First National Bank and Farmer State Bank for their support of Panther Vision. So Salisaw now going to. Get some motion going on offense here, trying to catch someone. Look at Howard go up for the steal. Great job there, stepping in front of the pass, resulting in a turnover. So Lady Panthers just need to settle down here a little bit, run some plays, look for that open shot. Johnson goes to work, kicks it to Howard. Howard, a little head fake, spin move, double teamed. Somehow Johnson comes down with it. Taking their time here. Salisaw doing a great job on their switches. But look at Johnson. Goes to the basket. Shot up. Bucket is good. And Johnson now seven points, five here. All five points in the third quarter for the Lady Panthers. Good ball movement. Open three. She'll make that. Oh, no. She's a little bit off. Definitely don't want to give that young lady too many open looks. She's. Proving time again, she can make that deep three just a little bit too much. And it goes off the foot of Jones. It's going to be a backcourt violation. Good call there by the ref. A couple substitutions here for the Lady Black Diamonds. 53 seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, that's going to be an open shot in the corner. Up and, ooh, man, I thought that was in, folks. I mean, it touched every part of the rim, part of the net, but didn't go through. 
There goes Lubbock, open three, shot up, and no good. Battle for the board. And I uh, got a jump ball. Possession arrow. We've got more jump balls in the last two minutes than we've had in the last two games. But the possession arrow goes to the Lady Panthers, and with 34 seconds left, Johnson's going to inbound the ball. Reminds me of the old booster hoopster days. <laughs> Every other play. Johnson makes a move, and she's going to draw a foul, and that's going to be the fifth team foul, so Johnson should go to the line and get a pair of free throws. Jordan has five points here in the quarter, seven in the game, has a chance to add to that total. The boys play in the uh, regional semifinal tonight at 7.30 against the Stillwell Indians. That will be a... Um, Interesting, I believe a really good game. So, folks, you want to make sure to tune in to that broadcast. It's going to be an exciting game. The winner of that ball game is going to move to the regional championship and will have a shot at area regardless of whether or not they win the regional or not. So, Johnson not able to get those free throws to fall. Howard now with the ball over in the corner here. 21 seconds. Johnson cut to the basket, shot up and good. So Jordan, seven here in the quarter, nine in the ball game, and Stigler has their largest lead of the ball game at 30 to 16. Trying to go to work here, had just a few moments. They're gonna have to hurry if they want to get a shot. There it is at the buzzer, shot up. Good rebound and good. And Lady Panthers failed to block out there and resulted in an easy two points for Salisaw. So folks, we got one more quarter. One more quarter. Here's the replay, and she did. I don't know if you can you can see it, but she got it off right. Watch this right here. She got it off a good call by the ref right there, and then the, the clock went off. She had probably .8 seconds when it left her hands. And uh, so, folks, we got one more quarter left. It's only a 12-point game. Lady Panthers, Coach Holland says, hey, girls, let's finish, and let's play. The, let's win to play another day. We're going to go silent just for a moment, and we'll be back. Here we go, folks. Salisaw ball. 12-point lead for Stigler with the final eight minutes underway. Right to work. Three-point shot up. No good. Battle for it. Salisaw, there goes another. Oh, that was good defense by Jones. They're going to whistle. Going to whistle her for a foul. Coach Hollinshed is not happy with it. Let's look at it replay here. Uh, this shot up. And watch John Jones right here. And they're going to whistle her for a foul there. We'll let you determine whether or not you think that was or not. We plead the fifth. First shot up, good. So Salisaw has, has made the most of their free throws. Uh, I think they maybe have two or three misses, but Stigler still struggled from the line. They're one of nine. Gentry Powell has entered back into the ball game. Jones breaks that defense. Good pass into Howard, shot up and good. And that's going to be the first bucket for Hiani in the second half, nine in the game, and it came just at the right time. Good move there by Johnson. There's a deep three shot up. Back of the iron, no good. Salasaw gets their own rebound, though, shot up and good. Johnson does a little crossover, gets it to Howard. Howard goes to work. And there's going to be a foul whistle on the floor. And so the story of the game for Salisaw, really, honestly, folks, has just been second chance opportunities, sometimes third chance. 
uh, going to the end of the third quarter. Uh, Lady Panthers had them stopped, but they had a second chance. The layup went up good. And then on that previous play, you see the same thing transpire. Getting into Howard. Howard now goes to work. Gets it into Johnson. Johnson shot up and good. And it's been all Jordan Johnson in the second half. Nine points, 11 on the day. Lead back to 12, open three, shot on the way, no good. And Jones comes down with the board looking to push it. And now Jones gets it across midcourt. Over to Johnson, now Howard looks. Thinks about going into. Hey, I like the pass there by Howard, catches Johnson on the way. Salasaw does just enough on defense. Uh, results in a turnover. Here comes a mass substitution here for the Lady Black Diamonds. Looks like four fresh players coming in off the bench, trailing by 12. Senior Gentry Powell back in the ball game with those four fouls. And Howard does a good job there and got all ball with the hand, but put a little bit of her body into the the shooter, and that's going to result in a foul. It's Hiani's first. First team foul, or actually second. And shot up no good. And second shot up and good. Johnson gets the ball easily, tries to break that defense. Shot up, rolls around, no good. Battle for the board. Johnson wanted the foul, no call. And now Salasaw trailing by 11, has a chance to get it back to single digits. Shot up off the backboard, no good. Battle for it. Salasaw gets that second chance opportunity. That's kind of been the story for them. That's an open three, though. Shot up, no good. Johnson comes down, gets it to Jones. Jones immediately goes to work, gets it over to Powell. Shot up, good. And Gentry's going to go the line to shoot two. Seven points. Has a chance to make it eight in that lead. Should be back up to 13 now for Stigler. And Gentry's got a chance to make it 14. And shot no good. Those struggles continue for the Lady Panthers. One of ten today. And timeout on the court. Official timeout. Going to dry the ball off. They played played that basketball too hard today and got it sweating. Defense there by the Lady Panthers. Switch over, no good. Jones comes down with the board. Good movement here by Stigler. Jones is going to go to the basket, shot up, tries to draw the foul, no call. So also now has, has the ball trailing by 13. Coach Holland said not, and he's not happy with the call down there. He's looking to the ref saying, oh, can I talk to you just for a second? Trying to figure out, I want, want to know what happened with my girl Jones down here. And he's getting that explanation now. Foul is called on Caitlin Lovett, her second, team third. Was a shooting foul, so Lady Black Diamonds will get two here. First shot up and good. Second shot up, back down, no good. Howard comes down with it. 
So Johnson controlled the ball. Lady Panthers up by 12. Gets it over to Howard. Howard now looks to get it to Jones. And now, as Coach Holland said, final 445, 12-point lead. Let's do a good job controlling. There goes Lovett, deep three shot up. No good. Had a good look at it, just too much on the shot. And now Salisaw has a chance here to get it to 10, possibly nine with the three shot up. No good. And there's a battle for it. And possession arrow, I think it's going to go to South. No, it goes to Stigler. So this timeout, it's going to be a full timeout. Lady Panther, I imagine Coach Holland said, says, ladies, we got 427 left in the ball game. We're up by 12. Let's finish strong. That includes let's make our free throws, no second chance opportunities and we live to play another day. So we're going to go silent for a moment, but we'll be back for the final four minutes and 30 seconds. Lady Panthers up, 36-24. All right, here we go. Jones gets the ball, gets it into Howard. <laughs> Coach Holland said, looks at the ref. He's like, are you kidding me? So Jones get, gets the charge there. It's her fourth. And Salisaw has new life here. That's a good ball movement here. Passed across the court. Looks to try to get that open shot and does. There's a shot deep, no good. But once again, shot up and good. And it's second chance university today here in Stillwell. And that's really, folks, we're being honest, what has kept the Lady Black Diamonds in the ball game. That right there, the replay you see, has been, been the story of the ball game. Free throws and, and second chance and third chance opportunities. Lady Panthers still have a good lead, 10 points, but Salisaw has a chance here to get it to single digits with four minutes left in the ballgame. Still plenty of time left. Shot up. No good. And Howard gets the rebound. It's going to be the foul call. It's going to be on the floor, so Johnson's going to inbound it. Third team foul. Lady Panthers had five team fouls, so for the next 357, uh, Salisaw will be shooting two. Gets it over to Jones, and Jones comes down with it. Johnson now has the ball. Looks to get it to Lovett. Lovett now to Powell. Got Johnson over here in the corner. And just kind of playing keep away here. Good ball moving here. Back to Jones by 10. You don't have to rush anything. At some point, your Salisaw, you're going to have to start thinking, thinking to get a foul. Touchdown. Good pass there by Howard. And Johnson shot up and good. That's a 13-point day so far for Jordan. Salisaw calls the timeout. 
trailing by 12. Look at that replay and just watch this no look pass there by Howard. She says, I can score, I can pass, I can do whatever it takes to get our team the dub. So it's a full timeout. We're going to go quiet just for a moment. We'll be back with the final few minutes. Lady Panthers up by 12. All right, timeout's coming to an end here. And Salisaw is going to be inbounding the ball. The basket here trailing by 12 with 2.56 left. We've said it a few times in the broadcast, the winner lives to play another day. They're going to play either Bristow or Wagner. And the team that loses, unfortunately, season comes to a close. There's a shot from the corner up, no good. And Salisaw, unfortunately, today had just, I mean, they've hit a few of the threes, but they've really struggled, and they've had plenty of open looks. Just haven't been able to get it to fall. Some point here, if you're Salisaw, you're going to have to start thinking about fouling. Ball knocked out of bounds. Scoring here in the fourth quarter, Howard has two, Powell two, Johnson four, only eight points. Southall electing to not foul here. <laughs> At some point, you got to foul if you. Ball knocked away. There was a foul also called. That's going to be on Salisaw. It's on the floor, fourth team foul. And number three, four, Salisaw, we apologize, don't have a roster, but has fouled out. So Lovett is going to inbound the ball here. Lady Panthers, Coach Holland said, you're saying take care of the ball. And here in a moment, you're going to have to, going to, have to make some free throws. Tonight's broadcast, the uh, Steelwell Indians versus your Panthers will be at 7.30, the 7.30 tip, brought to you by Panther Vision. Love to get it in now to Jones. And Howard just says, I'm just, you ain't gonna foul me, I'm gonna take it to the bucket, and that's 11. Lead is 14 for Stigler. There's the open three shot up. High floater in and good. Gets it ahead there to Lovett. Lovett does a great job. And Coach Holland said, can I get a T.O., baby? Can I get a T.O.? Watch this, watch this save here by Lovett. I mean, look at this. Watch this. Just awesome save right there. And had Jones, Howard did under the basket. But Coach Hollinshed calls the timeout. We're going to keep it here, folks. Minute, 22 seconds left. Lady Panthers on top by 11. Salisaw has 14 fouls on the next one. Uh, Lady Panthers will be shooting too, and I imagine we'll see quite a bit of that uh, heading towards the home stretch uh, of the ball game. Lady Panthers have struggled today from the line. One of two. Uh, kind of carry over from, from the Poto game last Thursday. Uh, but today, uh, they've been able to, so far, outlive the mistakes. They've not been able to shoot that. Um, coming into the second half, it was, it was leading up to that point, all, all Stigler. And then uh, in the third quarter, uh, they man, really didn't put a whole lot of points on the board. In fact, it was all Jordan Johnson. She scored seven points there in that third quarter. Really kept 
Salisaw at bay, and then here in the fourth, it's been Howard, it's been Powell, and it's been Johnson that has kind of kept them in the right place. There's a good pass in there to Howard, shot up off the backboard, and that one's good. And so Hiani now, 13 points, and that's the turnover there. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Crowd was wanting, crowd was wanting a foul there for on Jones, um, but officials unfortunately didn't see it. But they did see the foul that Lovett did, and that's her fourth personal shot up, no good. So Howard is leading the scoring for Stigler today. She had five in the first, two in the second, none in the third, but then six here uh, in the fourth. And Jones somehow comes down with the rebound. Looks to get it ahead there to Johnson. Johnson now has a couple players. And now there goes Howard, shot up. And Hiani's going to go the line to shoot too. First shot up, good. Uh, Hiani is two of four today. Lady Panthers two of 11. 14 points. Make it, oh, I was gonna say 15, a jinxer, folks. And so there goes the ball. Knocked away, Powell comes down with it, gets it forward to love it. Howard does a good job saving. And gets it now to Jones. And that should do it, folks. I mean, Lovett's going to go to the line and get a pair of free throws there. But the road for the Lady Black Diamonds appears to come to a close here in Steelwell, trailing by 14 with 36 seconds. And Lovett with an opportunity here for a pair of free throws. First shot up. No good. No good. Oh, two. Good defense there. But I love it. Once again, a second chance <laughs> shot for Salisaw. And Howard's going to draw the foul. That's going to be Hiani's second. So Salisaw will go to the line to shoot a pair. First shot up, no good. 23.9 seconds left. Lady Panthers up by 14. We also, once again, we've said it throughout the broadcast, but we want to say thanks to First National Bank's Bank of Stigler, Farmer State Bank for your support of Panther Vision. Second shot up and good. Jones now set to inbound the ball and gets it in. And so well, there's gonna be a foul. It was kind of out of the frame of the camera there, but Johnson was gonna be fouled and gets to go to the line. He's gonna get a pair of free throws. Johnson definitely has been a bright spot for the Lady Panthers here in the second half. Oh, First shot up, good. Johnson now has matched Howard 14 points, now with a chance to make it 15. So it was an I, I didn't see it, but I, I believe it was an intentional foul. That's why Johnson got the free throws. And so, got a mass substitution going on here for Stigler. And hats off to, hats off here to these uh, these starters. They're going to get the final 22 seconds off of the game. So, Stigler's going to move on to play tomorrow. Um, as we said a few moments ago, they're going to play either Bristow or 
Wagner um, in there in the loser side of the bracket. Uh, so the ladies got a uphill battle after the loss to um, Poto last week in districts there in Stigler. Uh, they got to they got to kind of claw their way back. They want to make it to area. There was a little bit of a wager, you know. We're not, me and Vales. We're not really we're not really gambling folks. But Vales said if the boys or the girls can make it to area uh, for the first time in 20 years, he's going to shave his beard off like a baby's booty. And I mean, he he's not going to just trim it. He's going to cut it. And so so far, these ladies taking a step towards that. So, huh? Yeah, I'm cutting it. And I'm going to shave it. I sure am. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to get a chainsaw and get through some of that beard. Oh, Uncle Si over here. But I got distracted, my bad. So the Lady Panthers got to win three here in regionals. Uh, they can't lose. This is the first of three, so they got two more uh, if they want to get to area. Uh, the, the, the boys have a, I don't want to say easier road because Stillwell is a very tough team. But if, if they somehow find a way to defeat Stillwell, Stillwell today, they have a, a shot uh, to play in the area. So <laughs> Oh man. 7.3 left. And that looks like. Looks like it may be, unless that shot falls, that's going to be our final. Matty Pruitt comes in and gets a rebound. So the final here from Stigler as the Lady Panthers, or not from, from, from Stillwell, Lady Panthers move to 18 and 6 on the season. Salisaw falls to 8 and 16. But most importantly, the Lady Panthers move to play tomorrow. And guess what, folks? Panther Vision will be bringing you the broadcast, the good Lord willing. So we're going to stop the broadcast. We'll be right back here in Stillwell tonight as the boys tip against Stillwell at 730. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for supporting Panther Vision. Once again, thank you to First National Bank and Farmers State Bank for supporting us as we have brought you guys this broadcast today. Uh, till this evening, God bless. Everybody have a great afternoon, and uh, we'll see you for the 730 tip right here from Stillwell.